Hey guys, thanks for checking back in. Sorry about the delay, just uh, work can't keep up. It's been nuts. Uh, definitely a good thing. Uh, definitely got some stuff done on the engine in the interim here and there working on it. I was waiting on the risers, got those in. Um, did uh, show you, I did a bunch of the uh, water lines. Uh, so this is um, basically inch and a quarter coming out of the top outlet of the water pump. Uh, this is gonna tee off and go uh, to basically underneath the uh, manifolds, which will come out and, and eventually leave the boat. Um, these are, so basically this is how it is just for like a mock-up where we're gonna run the motor the way it is on this stand that I built. Uh, hoping to do that Monday or Tuesday. I, was, I wanted to do it today, but uh, with the storm going on, taking customers' boats out of the water, et cetera, uh, just too crazy. Uh, but I got uh, the coils mounted. I made these brackets, got to clean them up and paint them. Uh, these are the core relocations. I was waiting on these wires because uh, the Terminator kit came with the wrong ones. Uh, so those are good, ready to go. Uh, so basically when I go and I put it in the boat, at this location, when it comes out, I'm gonna have an inline thermostat. So that'll be the thermostat regulating the water flow. But until that thermostat opens, these, which would normally go to the hot, hot um, you know, running the heat or the heat exchanger in the car, these are gonna be temporarily outlets until that thermostat opens. So you need to have flow to the exhaust at all times so the exhaust doesn't get too hot. So that's what these are gonna do. Uh, I got one this way, I got one under here running over to the other side and then into the manifolds and out. Um, so what'll happen there is, obviously when we're testing, they'll both be flowing all the time. But once it's in the boat, I have a thermostat because the water is gonna be so cold all the time. Uh, you know, you need to have a thermostat so the engine can get up the temperature. Uh, I'm also planning on running an oil thermostat as well. Uh, it's going to be connected to this instead of this. I'm going to have an oil thermostat uh, so the oil doesn't run to the oil cooler until a certain temperature. Uh, this way you don't have any issues with uh, the oil building moisture and water. You know, and I hear some stories about you know milky oil where there's condensation uh, mixed with the oil because of you know the oil not getting to temperature getting to that boiling point to burn off that uh you know that condensation or moisture in there uh so that oil thermostat will definitely help with that the uh the, the water cooler you know the water thermostat's going to help with the you know the water flow getting the engine to temperature uh so we'll see all how all that works uh risers are badass um got the o2 bone welded in when i got when i ordered them uh, this is the Terminator harness. So I'm gonna I actually in the boat right now. I have the ECU and the harness for that already in there, mounted. I'm gonna take that out for testing, put it up here somewhere, uh, and set that up. I got the bell housing on. Got this uh, coupler for the Bravo drive. Uh, I got that used off a guy. I believe he's in this group or on the formula group, I can't remember. Uh, nice guy, name is George. 200 bucks for the coupler and it's in great shape. Definitely a freshwater boat because uh, they're brand new, they're like 600. So I saved a couple bucks there. Uh, also got this sea strainer from Harden Marine. Uh, I have, somebody gave me the exact same sea strainer but it didn't have a lid on it. So I called Harden and they said they had a lid, but it had to come with the sea strainer as well. Uh, so for 150 bucks, uh, I got both. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up, paint it a little bit or powder coat it maybe. Um, but other than that, it's in good shape. I'm gonna mount that. This is the inlet, outlet. Uh, I'm gonna use this as the um, fresh water flush. You know, when, I, when I'm flushing out with, with uh, clean water. 
with fresh water. Uh, I'm gonna use that. But other than that, uh, sorry about the delay. Uh, also, I ended up getting this truck. I'm gonna make a video on it. Um, I got a really smoking deal from one of my customers. He never used the truck. It's a 2017 with 5,000 original miles on it. Couldn't go wrong, had to get it. Uh, Cause I'm gonna need to be towing cars with this new business that I opened. Um, so I'll do a whole video on this when I can get in and out of it and show you the inside and stuff. But I love it, never had a diesel before. Uh, so this is um, it's a first for me, I'm excited. But I uh, got the boat tucked inside for the storm. Hopefully any, any of you guys who are on the Northeast New York area or New England, you know, good luck with the storm. Hopefully uh, there's no issues and you know, no one uh, has, gets anything too bad. But uh, got the boat inside, safe and sound with the truck. Couldn't leave that out there either. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thanks guys for checking in. I have another video. I was all set up today to run this motor. Didn't work out. Monday, Tuesday latest, this bad boy is going to be running. Uh, so I'm going to have a uh, video, GoPro setup, and all that stuff on for that. So stay tuned. Have a good weekend. I'll see you later. Thanks.